New at five, a Valley Cannabis pharmaceutical business with big plans is now facing some setbacks blamed on funding and COVID-19. News Channel 3's Tom Tucker reports on the delay and what it means for the company's hiring plans up in Desert Hot Springs. A team in bodysuit sprays a disinfectant on the walls Wednesday at Royal Emerald Pharmaceuticals in Desert Hot Springs. I think we need to keep make sure we keep wearing our masks, keep our six foot distance. What we are providing is keeping the surfaces clean. The company took the precaution after closing the building for two weeks in December and once again in January. Each time a single employee tested positive for COVID-19. Well, from, from an economic standpoint, it's tough because you're paying everybody to go home and you still have your overhead and you're getting nothing done. The COVID related closures are in addition to the company not receiving a $74 million federal cannabis research grant, which they previously thought they would receive. Royal Emerald CEO Mark Crozier, who so far has hired 20 employees, blames politics at the federal level. Well, because we're trying to get up and stay operational so we can get finished so that we can start the process to hire employees and put them inside the building working. The CEO says he's certain the federal funding they were counting on will eventually come through under the new administration. Crozier says officials with the Drug Enforcement Administration are set to inspect the facility Thursday. Assuming they pass, the CEO says they could receive their federal cannabis license by sometime in March. Crozier and his staff would use the license to grow marijuana, perform research, and manufacture pharmaceuticals made from cannabis to treat first responders and veterans for pain and PTSD. Crozier says the company's plans for growth and hiring are still in place, but now delayed by 90 days. So politics and, and, the, and the pandemic are killing me. <laughs> but we're all okay, we're gonna be fine, we're rolling out of it, everything is good. In Desert Hot Springs, Tom Tucker, News Channel 3. Mark Crozier tells us Royal Emerald expects to hire 100 additional employees by July or August with upwards of 260 people hired by the end of the year.